This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi. Today we'll be discussing the use of capsule tension ring in eyes where we have planned toric lens implantations. Do they really help? Do they improve the outcomes? There's a lot of uh, debate around this topic and uh, let me share my experience with you. This is a 60-year-old lady who has nuclear cataract and she's having pathological myopia and she's scheduled for a toric lens implantation as she has got significant amount of preop astigmatism. Okay, this is the biometry report and it shows the white to white corneal diameter is all right. The axial length is large and the lens which we have selected for this patient is 9.5 diopter with this much of a cylinder. The eyes with pathological myopia as in this they usually have larger bags and these are the eyes very nice specifically use a CTR along with an toric implantation just to ensure better rotational stability. Let me go through the plan which I do when performing surgery in a myopic eyes. The side port incisions are created and one of the most important steps is to get your uh, rexis very well centered and very well sized because to get a lens to center well in a bag which is very big one needs to have an appropriate sized rexis. The chances of decentering will be there whenever we have an, a larger rexis which is more than the optic of the lens. So I'm aiming for a 5 millimeter well centered rexus and that is probably the most critical step in these myopic eyes. Getting the right size rexus is especially challenging because the pupil will be extremely well dilated and, and there will always going to be a lack of judgment because the reference point that's the iris which we usually take the pupil is extremely big in these eyes. So it helps to use corneal rexus markers in certain situations but in this case I have not used any. It looks all right now. Let us see how it appears once we implant the lens. The hydrodissection is created and in these myopic eyes my strategy is usually to work with a slightly lower bottle height so that uh, we don't have the sudden deepening of the antechamber and whenever this happens the patient experiences pain whenever there is a stretch on the ciliary muzzle pull because of sudden deepening of the antechamber. So I prefer to work at a low bottle height. The nucleus management is quite standard. The nucleus is around plus 2 or plus 3 and uh, direct vertical chop can be easily performed and the fragments are then being emulsified. Uh, once the fragments are emulsified, time to remove the cortex. Usually the patient complains of pain whenever we come out and re-enter the eye. So these are the times when we need to go in with very low bottle height and once we are inside gradually we can increase the bottle height to whatever is necessary. Sudden deepening is going to cause more pain in these myopic eyes and this is a strategy which I follow. Once the cortex is aspirated the bag looks to be very clean. And this is a patient who is having pathological myopia and as a standard for all myopic eyes whose axial length is uh, more than 24 in eyes where I'm using a toric lens I make it a point to use the CTR. The bag is inflated, the CTR is being implanted into the capsular bag followed by the IOL implantation. OVD both in front and behind the lens is being aspirated out. Time to align the lens. Before closing, I think it's time to just uh, review the size and centering of the rexus. It looks alright because in these myopic eyes, getting the right size rexus is challenging and looks alright. Although it's slightly eccentric, uh, but should do the job well. These are the post-operative pictures and the refractive outcome. The residual refractive error is minus 0.5 spherical. There's no cylinder at the end of uh, 15 days. Patient is quite happy with this. Now moving on to the discussion of this video, uh, whether to use a CTR in all eyes with toric lenses. 
my philosophy is that i restrict the usage of ctrs only in these myopic eyes where uh, the axial length is more than 24 or 24.5 mm only in these eyes i use a ctr along with the toric lenses for all my regular toric eyewells with the uh, axial length less than 24 i don't use it because in my experience i haven't found much of an issue with the uh, rotational stability of course it depends upon the model of the lens the brand of the lens which you're using in my experiences in eyes with regular back size and regular axial length it has not been much of an issue uh, the rotational stability of the ctrs however in myops i do prefer to use a ctr along with a toric lens the philosophy of using a ctr to prevent the rotation uh, in the early post op period of a toric lens is that it's going to stretch the capsular bag and hence uh, provide better symmetry to the bag and also the equatorial stretching is going to reduce the anterior posterior dimension of the capsular bag hence the chances the posterior capsule sticking onto the posterior surface of the lens is going to be higher and once it sticks well the chances of rotation are going to be less so this is the philosophy and this is how i prefer to use my toric lens and ctrs together What is your opinion on using CTRs in eyes with toric lenses please do comment below that was it thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful